Listen here. Before I went plant-based, ain't nobody care about what I ate. And then all of the sudden, everyone's grilling my broccoli. Oh, Melissa don't eat X, Y, and Z anymore. I mean, my plate became the golden topic of many discussions. Hey, beautiful people. It's Melissa from Choosing My Health where I teach you how to easily transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive. Listen, if there was ever a time to be healthy, it's now. And a whole food plant-based diet is a proven way to get you lasting and fast results. Now, before you do consider this lifestyle, let me share a little from my experience. Uh, when I transitioned to a whole food plant-based diet, I got a couple of surprises that threw me off guard. Things I wish I knew before going plant-based vegan. Things nobody told me, especially some semi-uncomfortable stuff I'll share a little later, but I'ma share it all with you anyway. So watch this video before going vegan so you're prepared and you transition like a boss. Let's get into it. There's no one way to be a plant-based vegan. Oh man, when I started this journey, you guys, I was so busy comparing myself to others and looking at what they ate, I started to think I was off because I never had tempeh or dragon fruit. I didn't even know what spirulina was. Spirulina is a blue-green algae that is considered a superfood due to its excellent nutritional content and health benefits. It's known for its inflammation-fighting properties, as well as the ability to help regulate the immune system. <laughs> now you know. What I failed to realize is that this is a personal journey. Your plate is not gonna look like everyone else's, and that's okay. We're not doing carbon copies here. So if you're going plant-based and you've never eaten some of the things on your Instagram feed, for example, or let's just be real, you would rather not spend the money to purchase some of them, you're absolutely no less plant-based than the person who does eat them. This is important, and let me tell you why. If you get hung up on what they're doing, you'll never be satisfied with what you're doing. What's more important is that you have a balanced diet and that includes tons of veggies, fruit, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. And the way that looks varies from person to person. People in Asia may have a different looking plate uh, than people in the Caribbean, for example, but both plates are still balanced and that's what matters most. Let's talk about what happens to your body when you go vegan. I'ma keep it 100. I knew a plant-based vegan lifestyle could purge me, but honey, let me tell you, when the floodgates opened, it kinda caught me off guard. So if you're not used to going to the bathroom regularly and constipation is the normal, don't let it catch you off guard. Ask any plant-based vegan how often they go, and I'm pretty sure it'll be more than the average person. And that's because a well-balanced plant-based diet is full of a lot of fiber from natural sources like fruits, veggies, legumes, and grains. And this fiber produces easier and more frequent bowel movements. This is good news because research does show that the form and frequency of your bowel movement plays an especially important role in colon health. And those with a lower fecal pH from a diet high in fiber have less risk of developing colorectal cancer. And get this, the larger the bowel movement, yes, I said it, the more the body is rid of excess estrogen and excess bile. Excess estrogen can lead to hormonal imbalance and excess bile to IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. So honey, if you're putting things in and things ain't coming out, the best thing you can do is find an effective way to get that stuff out before it creates a problem. I had no clue how much a plant-based diet would remedy a lot of my issues just by becoming regular. If I knew, I would have gone plant-based a lot sooner. It gets easier. Your girl's first year was definitely a struggle. I was previously vegetarian for a little bit before this lifestyle. I already let go of uh, my cheeseburgers and my chicken wings for the most part. 
But cheese, cheese was the hardest thing, you guys. The cheese was no joke. And I always found it so funny how often my order got messed up when I went out to eat. And it was always when I wanted cheese. I tell myself, no big deal, just scoot the cheese over to the side of your plate. And I just end up eating all of it. Over time though, and this happens with anything you stick to for long enough, my willpower got stronger and I was more intentional about saying no. My mentality went from, I can't eat that, to I won't eat that. I genuinely grew a desire to eat the healthier option. I especially fell in love with plant-based nachos and you can find the recipe to my absolute fave in the description box. But when you're going through, it's sometimes hard to think you'll get to that point. And while the time period of change is different for everyone, just keep in mind when you're struggling and you wanna give up, that both your thoughts and your taste buds will eventually evolve. Which leads me to my fourth point. Just like you can train a puppy to behave a certain way, you can also train your taste buds to like certain foods. Part of the reason I can now enjoy foods that I didn't care for is because I began to challenge my taste buds with new experiences. And the more I introduced my palate to plant-based foods rather than uh, default into the same old, same old, my enjoyment for healthy meals went to a whole nother level. Here's a good example. One study found that participants who reduced how much uh, salt was in their food, were able to readjust how much salt they enjoyed within 24 weeks. At the end of the study, uh, they preferred low salted food. And this is what was happening to me. The less I ate the food I was trying to avoid, right? The more I realized I could live without it and still enjoy life. Training your taste buds not only involves how often you eat a particular type of food, it's also largely connected to your sense of smell. Try this. The next time you eat, pinch your nose and without peeking, pop some food into your mouth. And then try to identify what it is. It'll be hard because the sense of smell tells your brain what you're eating and gives the impression of flavor in your mouth. So if your food smells good, chances are your flavor perception will be positively impacted. When people say they don't like the taste of cruciferous veggies like um, cauliflower or Brussels sprouts, most of the time what they're mainly reacting to is the smell of the veggies. So improve the smell, maybe that's by adding more aromatic spices to your dish or using fragrant herbs. Uh, the better it smells, the more you'll be open to enjoying the food for sure. <laughs> that I would be grilled because of what I ate. Listen here, before I went plant-based, ain't nobody care about what I ate. And then all of the sudden, everyone's grilling my broccoli. Oh, Melissa don't eat X, Y, and Z anymore. I mean, my plate became the golden topic of many discussions, not to mention the unsolicited advice. Story time. I remember this one time I made a dish for a gathering and people started asking who made it, and they found out it was me, and then someone shouted, oh, and it's vegan. Why did they do that? Well, this one particular person was not too happy it was vegan, and then it turned into this interrogation about what was on my plate and why they thought it was wrong. If this happens to you, because chances are it can, I got two words for you. Do you. You can't please everyone. And this doesn't uh, just go for food, this goes for life. If you live to please people, you'll never be at peace with your decisions. And you may miss out on some of the biggest blessings of your life, including being healed. Really, at the end of the day, you're the one living in your body. And if you need to make some radical changes so you can thrive, do it, regardless of what people say. Stick to your convictions and free yourself to choose you. I wish I knew it wasn't all or nothing, that if I couldn't do it all, it was okay. Now, this is for someone. I felt like such a failure every time I slipped up with some meat or uh, some cheese, and I was so judgmental of myself. 
And uh, while I broke away from my ideal lifestyle at times, I totally dismissed the improvements I had made, like increasing my fruits and my veggies or trying new items. The truth is, I was so much stronger than where I was before I began my journey. So if you fall off the bandwagon, it's okay. Jump right back on. Don't be critical of yourself and keep moving if others are critical of you. Celebrate the accomplishments you have made. Just the mere thought of taking a step to improve your health, I mean, no matter how small that thing is, is a huge win. Who knows? Maybe you can use those slip ups as teachable moments to encourage others who need your story. Never feel like you're alone, there is support. There were times when I was around people and I felt like I stuck out like a sore thumb. And in reality, there are a gazillion of people who share the same values as you, the same aspirations, who are in it to win it. So get connected to them. And if you go into this thing knowing that you have people in your corner, you'll feel stronger and it'll be easier to stick to your convictions. When I started uh, meeting people that were also plant-based, I felt so empowered and I realized, hey, I'm not the only one who's doing this. And now more than ever, you'll find tons of amazing plant-based support groups, um, recipe blogs, and networks where you can get all the support you need and then some. So I hope all of these tips give you a heads up for what to expect on the plant-based vegan journey so you're prepared and you transition like a boss. I love you guys and I believe you do have what it takes, especially now to be the healthiest version of you. And if you're thinking about this lifestyle, I wanna hear from you in the comments, please. What do you wanna know before going plant-based? Or if you're already plant-based, uh, what tips do you have for others before they start? Also, if you're interested in a plant-based diet and you wanna join the CMH crew, please subscribe to my channel to learn more about how to easily transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive, I'd so love to have you here. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for my latest videos. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and you can follow me on Instagram at CMH Social. And if you're new to this whole food plant-based uh, diet thing, welcome. Check out my free gift for you packed with 15 years of my life-tested strategies to boost your game for the win. Links are all in the description box below. I love you guys. I'll see you 